what are Boxing World 12 rounds TV? Now, uh, Gennady Golovkin doesn't think that he's too big for Floyd Mayweather Jr. And that Floyd Mayweather Jr. should consider fighting him um, prior to retirement. Anyway, my, I'll give you guys my little thoughts on that one. I think that no matter how much Golovkin go down in weight, and I'm sure he's not going to go down no more less than 154 to fight to try to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. Mayweather's not going to fight him. It's not going to happen. I just I don't have that gut feeling that Mayweather is going to fight somebody solid like Golovkin. I mean, he's fighting Berto for Christ's sake. You know, um, he ain't even consider Khan. You know what I'm saying? He ain't consider no uh, Brook Thurman. None of that. None of those guys. Um, he he um, instead considered fighting Berto or Mayfield, but he is fighting Berto. So it was officially announced uh, by TMZ. It's on my channel. I made a little comment on it. If you guys haven't seen it. But um, but yeah, there you go. I think Triple G, he, he's got better chances of fighting, you know, getting a fight with uh, Canelo, uh, Cotto, you know what I'm saying? You know, th those would be good pay-per-view sensation. Th those would be good pay-per-view numbers. They they'll make good money out, out of those fights. And it'll be a good fight, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a great fight, matter of fact. Um, but uh, the hopes for for the for the uh, Mayweather versus Golovkin, uh, that's very slim to none. I don't think, you know, maybe before, you know, earlier career of Floyd Mayweather Jr., maybe he'd consider um, fighting Golovkin, you know, at 154, stuff like that. But um, at this moment, at this, his age, Mayweather's age, Mayweather's um, primary concern at staying undefeated, beating Rocky Marciano's record, he don't want to risk that. He's not going to risk that. He's not risking anything. Hell, the fight is going to be free on CBS because he's fighting Berto. You know what I mean? He knows that the even if, if he puts it on pay-per-view, it ain't going to be selling nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like kind of like giving back to the public generosity, so to speak. Now, it's going to be free. However, in return to that, Mayweather's still going to be easily making 35 whatever, $40 million easy, right? Without pay-per-view. But... He's not about to take that risk. You know, he's not, Mayweather is not about to take no risk. Like I said, you know, he's fighting Berto and that's what he's choosing, you know. And if he, if Mayweather still continues to fight, you know, after, you know, he beats Berto in September, then it would be somebody somewhat solid, somewhat, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe Mayfield, hell, I don't know. Maybe he'll fight Amir Khan then, you know what I mean? Uh, or if he rematches with Baka, which will really, really surprise me, uh, that that's that the possibility of that fight is going to be slim to none also. Anyway, so yeah, uh, you know, Golovkin is a very solid competitor. He is a knockout artist. He doesn't necessarily have the great defense. And uh, even though, in my personal own opinion, I don't think that um, I don't I don't think Golovkin will win against Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, um, not because of knockouts or anything of that nature. I think that Mayweather would run around on him and jab on him. You know, like I said, uh, Golovkin is a knockout artist. So does Pacquiao. Used to be, right? So does anybody that's. Um, um, uh, Mayweather ever fought. Uh, you get you had uh, Ricky Hatton before. You got you had um, Shane Mosley. You know, I mean Guerrero even man. You know what I mean? These people had the potential to knock out Mayweather. Canelo, Canelo is primarily the number one prime example. Canelo is a freaking heavy hands knockout artist. Very intelligent guy. Um, it's not that. You gotta be, you know, to beat Mayweather, you gotta be able to be fast, chase him down, and you gotta outsmart the guy. Or he's gonna jab you forever. And he's gonna win. Because like I said before in my past videos, jabs win fights. I don't, and, and obviously, number one, you gotta be able to guard yourself. And Golovkin, he doesn't guard well. You know what I'm saying? So, if you try to get that one knockout punch against Mayweather, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna have to chase him. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see Golovkin, you know, chasing him down the whole 12 rounds and actually landing big shots. He's going to get counter every time, you know, with jabs. Because like I said, 
for Golovkin to win against Mayweather, if that fight does happen, I believe that he'll have to work very, very hard on defense. Very, very hard on defense. Um, you know, um, Monroe had an episode with Golovkin, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like how how Golovkin lets his opponent punch him to death. You know, what I mean, even though he can take the punches, I strongly believe. You know, what I'm saying that. Golovkin can take Mayweather's punch. No questions about that. But it's not that. You know, it doesn't win fights. You know what I mean? It doesn't win fights when you get hit because it's a point system. You know what I mean? Just like Mayweather Pacquiao, you know, Mayweather Guerrero, Mayweather, whoever Mayweather fought before, you know, prior to or after Ortiz and stuff like that with that cheap shot. But whoever Mayweather is going to fight, it's going to be a, a, a jabbing a fight, just like it was going to happen with Berto. It's going to happen. It's just jab, 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 and run. That's it. That's what's going to happen. And I don't see Golovkin, you know, getting that big punch in Mayweather. I just don't see it. I think Golovkin's kind of heavy set. He's a little slow. He's not really quick on his feet. And like I said, I, I don't like his guard. I, I don't like his guard at all. Um, but Golovkin is a very solid competitor. He's undefeated for a reason. He's a good guy, humble guy. A uh, very likable person um, and, and an athlete, um, uh, tremendous heart, but um, I just don't see him landing that fight against Mayweather. I don't see it. I don't think Mayweather is, is going to even consider Golovkin, even though he knows he can probably beat Golovkin. I don't think so. But Golovkin said that he doesn't think he's too big for, for, fight for Mayweather, but that's not the case. I don't think so. I mean, he could be 154. You know what I'm saying? Hell, Berto could be at 154. Mayfield could be at 154. Mayweather still fight him. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. It's not because you're too big or you're too whatever. It's not that. It's just because Mayweather is in that point stage right now, mindset, so to speak, to just fight easy fights. Hell, Mayweather Sr. said it. My son only want a couple easy fights. That's it. And like I said in my past video, if you guys didn't see it yet, Mayweather Sr. himself said, if my son, if that's the way he's thinking, you know what I mean? If, if that's what he wants to do is just fight a couple more fights, easy fights, then he should just retire. And that's what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather is going to get all these easy fights out of the way to get the 50 and 0, surpasses, you know, Rocky Marciano's record of 49 and 0, then hang it up. That's it. You know what I mean? He, there's no reason for Mayweather to, to keep going on when he's at 50 and 0. What, he's going to risk to lose one? After surpassing a, a record of Rocky Marciano, what are you gonna fight? That's dumb. That don't make no sense. Um, I believe Mayweather's gonna fight till he's fifty, but I don't know. You know, maybe I don't know. Maybe he'll fight more, but I, you know, I, I just I don't see the reason of it unless he still have love for the sport of boxing, which he doesn't. That's what he said before. I just don't love this anymore. You know, it's not for me anymore. That's what he said after the Pacquiao fight. I, I just, it's not in me anymore. You know, I, I don't have the passion anymore. I'm not happy anymore. But then again, he's fighting Berto. Because it's easy fights. You know, he wants to get that record out of the way and retire. But let me know what you guys think. I personally don't think that it's the, the weight that Golovkin, the weight of Golovkin is the one that's mattering. Why the, the Mayweather versus Golovkin fight is not happening. Or it's not going to happen. I don't think... It's the, the size. I don't think it's, you know, because Golovkin's too big, Mayweather's too small. I don't think it, it is that. It's because Mayweather wants to just fight a couple easy fights to surpass Marciano's record and hang it up. Let me know what you guys think. As always, you guys take care. And please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thumbs up and uh, share my video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Please comment down below. Peace. <laughs>